But first tonight at 6, the new emergency radio system for Dane County set to come online today is once again delayed. The $18 million system is supposed to connect emergency workers throughout the county, originally set to be completed last summer, but serious problems remain. And a news three investigative reporter, Adam Schrager, joins us now with more. And Adam, what kind of problems are we talking about now? We're talking about audio problems, Eric. Arguably the most basic component of a radio system remains this specific system's biggest problem. There remain gaps in what's called DANECOM, where police and firefighters simply can't hear one another talk on the radio in numerous tests. We've obtained emails sent by county officials over the last week expressing their frustration over the problems. The county first broke ground on the project back in January of 2012 with a goal of having the radio system online by last summer. But every deadline since has come and gone as there remain signal interference and coverage issues. DINCOM's administrator told local officials in an email that the audio problems have been, quote, hard to track down. Further, he said while he hoped the latest problems could be fixed in weeks rather than months, he remains unsure, and that has left some emergency providers unsettled. If something bad happens or I'm on the outside and see something bad happening and I can't reach my crews inside, uh, that, that doesn't, that doesn't get to end well. Um, you know, we, we joke around here saying, well, we're going to go to, you know, Radio Shack and buy 20 walkie-talkies because we know they'll work. Brinkman says in nearly every firefighter or police officer fatality, a lack of communication plays a major role. Compounding the problem right now is that the cities, towns, and villages in Dane County are openly debating whether they should continue to pay operating and maintenance fees on a system that is not fully operational. Their taxpayers have already paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for DaneCom over the last couple of years. Earlier this summer, Dane County Executive Joe Parisi said he wanted money from the Harris Corporation, which is the radio system vendor, for the repeated delays. Parisi wanted that money sent back to local governments, but so far, Eric, no money and no emergency radio system. It's been a long time in the works. We'll see where it goes from here. Mm -hmm. Adam Schrager reporting. Adam, thank you.